Yo, what is poppin' people? My name is Out of Order, and welcome back to the channel. This is where I teach you guys everything you need to know about After Effects. You guys already know how we do it around here. And in this video, I'm gonna make a really quick tutorial on how to motion track. The last motion tracking tutorial was several years ago, and it's pretty old and outdated, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do it again. But anyway, guys, let's get straight into the point. We're gonna make this super quick and super simple. So as you guys can see in the preview, this is that thing that I motion tracked at the start of the edit, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. So over here, I have an empty composition, but in order to motion track, you need to make a new composition and your footage has to match the composition both frame rate and resolution so the clip i got over here is in 1080p it is in 500 fps so we need a composition that also matches those settings so we can just go here create a composition make 500 or if you want it to be the exact same settings all you got to do is select your clip and drag it over here and it'll make a composition with the exact same settings but now that we have our clip and our composition all we got to do is select the part we want to motion track so i'm just going to start motion tracking from here so i'm going to press Control shift d to split the clip and i'm going to go to the end of where i want the track to end so i want it to end here so i'm going to press Control shift d as well and as you can see we got this area over here to motion track now there's several ways you can motion track this one is going to be a 3d motion tracking tutorial so it's pretty simple now to motion track it in 3d there's two ways so we can either right click on it and go over here to track and stabilize click on track camera or we can go over here to the tracker tab and click on track camera either or we'll do the same thing so it's just going to motion track this real quick this may take a few minutes so i'll come back to you when it's ready <laughs> Okay, so that took about maybe two minutes or so, but as you guys can see, we got all these tracker points over here. Now, in order to be able to select them, make sure that this is on over here, and you also want to go up view and make sure show layer controls is on as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it, so make sure that is on. You can also press Control shift h to enable that. And over here, if we select this over here in the effect controls, we should be able to select any tracker points. So let's find something we want to track. Now, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to motion track text and images as well. I'll probably do particular in another video again, but for images, it's pretty simple all you got to do is select the point you want to track so let's just say we want an image over here I'll select all this right here and then we can create a solid in camera or a null in camera either or we'll do the same thing except I prefer making a solid because it gives us a visualization of what we're gonna be motion tracking so as you can see we got a solid on the wall looks pretty lame so let's get an image in here so if I have an image here we go we got the duck image so we're just gonna put this over here I'm just gonna delete the end of the clip and the start of it to where it only shows up when the camera is visible but as you can see it's not really motion track yet so what we got to do is enable 3d so we'll click on this over here to make the layer 3d and if you don't have that option available say your timeline looks a little something like this all you got to do is click this bottom left corner to enable this and then you can make the layer in 3d and once it's in 3d all we got to do is press p on the keyboard with the layer selected and go to our solid and press p as well and all we got to do is copy and paste the position so if we click on the position text Control c go to the duck or our image or whatever your motion tracking and Control v as you can see it's going to be in 3d space the next thing we got to do is make sure the rotation is correct because as you can see the duck is clipping through it so all we got to do is go back to the solid press r go to our image press r and then copy and paste the orientation once we have that all out of the way we can delete the solid because we don't need it anymore and boom we have an image motion tracked in 3d space now we can also change the blending mode and if you don't have that option as well make sure you click on this button over here to get the blending modes now for walls like this i would probably do overlay however you can experiment with all these other ones as well but as you can see we have a nice little duck on the wall and if you want to be able to motion track text it's actually easier than motion tracking image but all you got to do is go to your 3d camera tracking hold left click select your points right click and then create text and as you guys can see we got text on there as well now that we got our text in the scene the next thing i'm going to show you is how to work with obstructions now this is a thing that a lot of tutorials don't really talk about because as you can see if i scroll back over here the text is still showing through the wall because after effects doesn't even know that there's a wall there all it knows is that there's like a 3d space there so in order to do that what we need to do is make a simple luma mat now there's several ways you can fix this issue right here you can either mask it uh the duck's actually a lot easier because all we got to do is go to where the duck's visible Control shift d delete that and it comes in frame as you can see right by that timeline but anyway what we're gonna do now is create a simple luma mat so to do that all we got to do is select the wall so let's just select the entire wall right click on that make a solid for that as well and then once we do that let me just resize it to the length of our camera now this is the harder part of motion tracking which is obstruction so as you can see we got our solid here all we got to do is press s on our keyboard to resize it and scale it up and we essentially just want to create a simple mat over the wall over here so as you can see we might want to press r to enable our orientation you might want to mess with the z rotation which is this one over here you might want to scale it up a little bit more until we get it a little bit better so as you can see let me zoom in over here make the resolution full by clicking over here and then the blending mode i also want to make it different difference is mainly used 
just for finding, well, the difference in clips. So as you can see, it makes it so much easier to work around with this. So let me just press S to resize it a little bit more. And as you can see, we'll press R to mess with the orientation a little more. And I think that looks pretty good. So now that we have our obstruction created, as you can see, there is sort of a problem, which is over here. As you can see, it's still going to clip through the text because what's essentially going to happen is the wall is going to be visible only over this solid. So it's going to cover that so you won't see this part of the text, but you'll see this part. But as you can see, this part over here is being clipped. So what you can do is you can mess with the scale and position a little bit more. Or in this instance, we can actually just end up splitting the clip because we don't need obstructions on this part because as you can see, it's already fully visible. So what we can do is just simply control shift D to delete that. And as you can see, we got this over here. Now this next step is a little bit more confusing, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the 3D camera tracker, drag it above that, and then we're gonna select the solid and pre-compose it with the 3D camera tracker. So I'll just call this track mask. And then what this essentially is gonna do is it's gonna be motion tracked like that. So as you can see, we have our thing right here. And if we didn't include the camera, the reason we duplicated it is because without the camera, the solid just won't move at all. So the next thing we're gonna do now is go inside the composition and on our solid, we're gonna add a little fill effect and then we're gonna make this fill effect white and then if we go back into our composition we got a white solid now what we can do now is we can duplicate the world layer and we can also delete the 3d camera tracker on the new world layer because we don't need it anymore since we already motion tracked it but once we have our world layer if we drag it underneath it once we drag the clip underneath the mask the next thing we got to do is go back into the mask and then from here I want to create a new solid so we're gonna press Control Y and we're gonna drag this below everything so that way there's no transparent background so if I look at it like this there's a transparent background but if we have the solid in there there's essentially no transparent background as you guys can see and this is really important because we're going to be using the black and the white so the black part is essentially going to act as a mask that covers whatever we don't want in frame the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the difference because we don't need that anymore but once we have that off all we got to do now is duplicate the solid and we're going to make this other solid black now once we have a black solid as you can see the white solid's not visible anymore but it's really easy all we got to do is go to the z position slide it just a tiny amount to the left so only one side is black and the other side is white as you guys can see so if we go back into our main composition we should have something that looks like this so once we have black on one side and white on the other side now as you guys can see if we go back into our little world layer only the duck is showing up and the reason for that is because the duck is currently on the white side so if I show you like this you can see the ducks on the white side however if it's over here it's not going to show up because it's on the black side and we can even drag this out more and as you can see, it's still going to show up either way. We don't have to cut the clip anymore. However, the other text is not showing up at all, and that is because it's on the black. So you're probably wondering, how do we fix this? It's pretty simple. All you got to do is go back into the track mask, and we're just going to want to find the white solid. So this one right here is the white solid. If we duplicate that, and if we press Y on our keyboard or go over here to select our anchor point tool, what we can do now is move the anchor point around. So I'm going to drag it to the corner of this over here, just like that. Now our anchor point's in that corner. And now what that's going to do is if we go here, press R on our keyboard, we can now mess around with the rotation. So as you can see, it's only going to rotate around that anchor point. So if we mess with this rotation over here, maybe move this more over here as well. As you can see, we pretty much got a 3D box now. Now that 3D box is essentially going to act as a mask. So like I said, we have our clip below it. We have a set to Luma inverted map. And then now that it's on Luma inverted map, as you guys can see, because we have a simple track of the solids that are in white, whatever's in white is going to show up and whatever in black is not going to show up so as you can see we got this going on and if you want an obstruction on this side as well it's a pretty easy fix all you gotta do is duplicate this move it over a tiny amount and then make it black and as you can see there's another black side so it's not going to render any of the track on it as well now i think i made the solids too big here as you can see it's doing some funky stuff but you can easily fix that by just moving around the positions and the scale and rotation and all that good stuff until you essentially map out your map and with all of that out of the way guys that's how you motion track with obstructions i really hope you enjoyed the video if you found this video helpful in any way be sure to leave a like subscribe i make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff my twitter instagram and discord are all in the description down below just right below the like button so feel free to check those out my editing pack is also in the description down below if you want to buy my presets project files and other assets i use be sure to check that out it really supports the channel it honestly means the world to me so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one boys peace out I got bribes in the London, just to go be in the family Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van Legacies, family, way and see, look like a panda Going out like a Montana, honey killers on the helmets Legacies, family, 